rocking chair Rode my body up the mountain It's 8.30 a.m. I just got to the trailhead. I just got dropped off. I was thankfully able to get up here a little earlier, so that's rad, but trail's right there. Here we go. JMT 2022. A little ways in. Um, so far, pretty chill trail. Pretty average. This is actually a really wide section. Looks like there's a little creek over there. I am on the Cottonwood Lakes Trail because that's where my permit is. I hope to get up over New Army Pass by noon and then make my way down to Rock Creek. Whew. Altitude is no joke. I think I'm at 10.7 right now. Um, and all the training in the world cannot prep me for this. So I took my meds and kind of feel like I'm drunk walking on the trail. So that's a novel feeling. Uh, yeah, <laughs> much cooler though. I think it's like, I don't know, 65 right now, a little less. All right, onward. There's been quite a few people on the trail. Um, most of them were coming out, uh, but I ran into two young dudes that were going up, but I'm actually a little worried about them. Um, they're like half my age, so it's not that they can't keep up, obviously. But they were asking how much further to Cottonwood Lakes, and I pull out my map. I said, oh, about a mile and a half. This is quite a while ago, two miles. They, okay, cool. And I said, what are you guys doing? He goes, go to Cottonwood Lakes, then they're going to do New Army Pass, and they're going to do Mount Langley. But they are kind of winging it, and they don't have a GPS. So I remember what they look like. <laughs> so if the Lost Hiker report comes out, I can at least tell the forest rangers where I last saw them and what their plans were, so I have a rough idea where to look for them. I hope at least they have a paper map. I don't know. break packed out some pizza also packed out an apple I'm gonna hang on to this and have it at the top of the pass I'm also gonna have a little bit of coffee and I'm gonna drink a bunch of water put a little bit of electrolytes in it um, I've already climbed like 2,000 feet uh, I did not expect that <laughs> but you know it's the Sierra so I'm definitely not gonna make it over that pass before noon because right now it is 12:15. so I'm gonna sit here for about another 15, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. And then I'm gonna gun it over the pass. Then I've got about seven miles to Rock Creek, but it's all downhill and it looks like the trail's pretty smooth. So it should be good to go, but let's eat. So I reached New Wormy Pass, at least the, the switchbacks. I couldn't figure out where the hell this pass is. I was like, I'm not climbing those. I thought I took a wrong turn, but that's High Lake over there, so I know I'm in the right spot. I thought maybe it might be over there. Maybe right there. But I just saw some hikers right there. So New Army Pass is that way somewhere. Yikes. New Army Pass. What a bitch. I want to understand. Old Army Pass, though lower, is terrifying and treacherous. So, New Army Pass it is. Woo! 
first of, I don't know, 16. <sighs> All right, take a moment, look at the sights, start making my way down to Rock Creek. Seven miles, I think, six miles, something like that, until I get to camp, and it's 2.30 now. Pretty good with the time, considering I got a really late start. I didn't start hiking until 8.30, 8.45, so, all right. I'm tired. You know what fast. Sucks. <laughs> My first proper meadow of the JMT. I didn't see a name of this meadow anywhere on the map or anything. But it's right along Rock Creek and Rock Creek Lake. So we call it the Rock Creek Meadow. I'm running a little bit behind today. I have like four and a half miles to get to the Rock Creek campground, but there's a lake up here, and if there happens to be a bear box at this lake, I'm going to stop here for the night. Um, the altitude, the late start, and the weather really got to me. Look, horses. Snacking on chocolate covered espresso beans. I guess it got a little hot and I left my pack open. So, every time I reach into my pack, I'm gonna get chocolate on me. I gotta clean that out though. I don't want ants getting in there or the animals getting in there. So, <laughs> all right, end of day one. I didn't get as far as I had originally planned. It was gonna be closer to like like a 16 and a half, 15 and a half day, something like that. Uh, I did about 13 and a half. I could have probably pushed on if I was really wanting to, but I'm glad I didn't because by the time I got to camp, my body just shut down. <laughs> that, um, that new army pass sucks. So if you're going to hike the JMT northbound or Nobo, do everything you can to get the Cottonwood Pass. And in fact, I probably should have just snuck over there and hiked that anyway. I haven't seen a ranger yet. Unfortunately, due to the medication I'm on, I can't eat a whole lot, um, and I tried to eat dinner. I was trying to force myself to eat because I know I need to, and it just didn't happen. I got maybe seven or eight bites of my freeze-dried chili mac, so that sucks, but I'm ready for sleep. I'm going to wake up kind of early tomorrow and make up those lost mileage. Um, overall, pretty good day. Uh, so if I could sum it up in just a few words... Late start, lost boys, that pass sucked. Ooh, a meadow, uh, I don't feel good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it's about 6.15. Um, slept my ass off last night. As soon as I crawled into my tent, I was out. I think it was like 7.30, I woke up again a few times, uh, like at 10 and like at midnight. Um, I was so tired, just physically tired, but so far, one of the best campsites I've ever been at. The horses were running around all night. The buck came back. Though I did hear like a bell ringing most of the morning. So I'm wondering if it was the mill train, the ranchers, the cowboys. I don't know where they are. But I think they're in that direction somewhere. Game plan today is to get to Katara Lake, so I better book it, because I've got an additional three miles. So I think like another 13 mile day, but no climbs, major climbs. All right, let's go. There are no rules when you're in the wilderness hiking by yourself, that's why. I'm going to eat a baby Ruth at 7.30 in the morning. What are you going to do? Tell me. <laughs> so, I am officially on the PCT. Cottonwood Pass, Siberian Pass. That's where I came from. Uh, New Army Pass is 6.6 .6 miles. And then I'm going to stop for a break at Lower Rock Creek. And then make my way over to Crabtree Meadows. And then from there, 
go up to Guitar Lake. It's a weird feeling. I know that I've hiked for like 12 hours and just now get to the PCT and I still got six miles before I get to the GMT. Oh, the Sierra. You are funny, funny, funny. Okie dokie. Made it to Rock Creek. This is technically the ranger station, so the campground is a little further that way, but I'm gonna stop here because it's beautiful. I'm gonna camel up. The people I was camped to last night at Rock Creek Lake said the water sources are not so good between here and Crabtree Meadow. So I'm gonna down like two liters and then make my way over Guyot Pass. You can't really see it, but back there behind those mountains, I believe, is Mount Guyot. So, looks like a pretty decent pass, 11,000 feet or so. Let's do this. Okay, made it to the top Guyot Pass. To me, this is what um, the Sierras look like because I'm from the eastern Sierra, the eastern side. Much drier. So, the meadows and the streams and the deer, Francine, the marmots is new to me. Uh, as far as passes go, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this pass a 3 because see we are still way below tree line. That's Mount Guyot back there. Give you another perspective. Right there. But it was super super sandy. As you can see, and also the mill trains use it. So the sand was all chewed up, but I'll take it. Over there is Rock Creek. If you see that first ridge of trees, Rock Creek's on the other side of that and kind of that way. And then on the other side of that mountain, kind of off in that direction, is Horseshoe Meadow, like Cottonwood Pass area. And Horseshoe Meadow is kind of back over there. So the PCT and Cottonwood Pass over there. The fire, still can't see it, which is a good thing, but I suspect it's back behind this mountain somewhere and on the western side of the park. So I'm gonna take a break, grab a snack, and then get down this mountain to the Land of Giants. I'm just thinking about the amount of pizza I ate when I was in Lone Pine. I went to the pizza factory, which is what I grew up with, so to me, that's like the best pizza in the world. And I got a medium Hawaiian. My plan was to have that for lunch and dinner. I also got like a, a dinner salad from the salad bar because I wanted it. And then my bright idea was to pack out a calzone and eat that for lunch yesterday. But the calzone was massive. Like it was really big. And there's no way I could eat all of that. So I'm back to my hotel room and I nibbled on the pizza all day. And I tried to eat half the calzone for dinner. <laughs> it didn't work. I ended up just packing out like what was left of the pizza. I think like three slices. Um, and I ended up throwing away most of the calzone. If you don't know much about Pizza Factory, at least in Lone Pine, it's like $60 worth of food. So I felt stupid. Anyway, I think coming back to bite me in the butt because I've had heartburn ever since. <sighs> All right, random hiking thoughts.
finished lunch here at the beginning of I think this is upper Crabtree Meadow. There are golden trout jumping around in the little stream here. Um, I think I've I've got a decision to make. I know I'm gonna I'm 80% sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna wait. I've got about a mile and like a 500 foot climb to get to the actual campground. And then that's when I'll make my decision about Whitney. While I was hiking up, um, I saw somebody get rescued off. You can see the helicopter flying over. And uh, I'm out here to have fun. And at the rate I'm going right now, there's no way I'm going to make it there. And I'm, I, I'll be pushing myself too hard. I'm not having fun. Whitney will be there again and I can go back. So right now, I'm 80% sure I'm going to skip Whitney. This will give me a little bit more time. I could slow my pace and get to MTR before I run out of food because the first five days were rush, 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 rush. Um, and when I didn't meet my goal yesterday because of my weight um, of the pack and uh, the weather and everything else, you know, I realized that I'm going to make myself miserable doing that and I don't want to do that. So. Unless a miracle happens and I get zapped by Zeus and I get all kinds of energy, then there's no way I'm going to do Whitney this time. But I got a mile to camp, so I'm going to take my time. I'm going to actually hang out at camp. That'll be fun. I met some other hikers. I'll see if I can't buy near them and eat some mashed potatoes tonight. If I'm lucky, I'm going to get a fish, eat fish and mashed potatoes. All right, enough rambling. One more look at one half of Crabtree Meadows. I'm headed that direction to the other side. Tonight for dinner, I have a roasted garlic potatoes. I think there is some bacon bits in there. And I also packed out some Parmesan cheese, so it's gonna be really tasty tonight. It's on a quest to find the toilet and I found it. <laughs> Ooh, look how protected you are from prying eyes. My goodness. Well, y'all, end of day two. Um, quick little review in just a few sentences. I got a lot of flies in my tent. I'm still struggling to eat. Uh, I met a lot of cool people who made the same choices or slash mistakes that I have. And uh, I'm at a campsite that actually has a toilet. So that's kind of cool. On that note, I'm going to bed. See you guys tomorrow.